YouTube Electric Adventures here with a package in the mail all the way from Denmark. It had an outer bubble too, which I was quite impressed. So, um, Denmark, also the home of plate Well, this actually is plane reveals from Germany, so it's from that region. So it's interesting the um, the box used. So this is a recent thing, so they're not destroying an old box from an old set or anything like that. But very well packaged. So these are a couple of items from a. Um, another Facebook or well, person from the, the uh, MSX Facebook group, group that sort of gives away what the items are going to be related to but um, definitely top marks for packaging so it was an outer bubble and sorry for the slight cut there but yes it was the postman just was normal mail um, anyway where was I unwrapping these items um, so I can't actually remember the name of this first one, I've never seen the cover of it, but it was a Konami game and it's a loose cartridge um, and it wasn't very much money so I thought I'd get and have a look. So um, I honestly can't remember what the name is now, uh, we'll figure that out in the gameplay but it'll be nice to have a play, but a very interesting cover. So it's an MSX2 title, probably why I know nah, not that much about it, I don't know how rare it is, but the uh, label's in good condition. So um, more than likely some sort of adventure game or maybe a platform game, don't know. Um, now the next thing that I was interested in, I mean it posted a whole lot of items um, and there were certain items I had and other things which you know well, I couldn't afford sort of things but this one was very interesting because obviously being the programmer that I am and it's called MT Debug and it's actually a um, you know, a debugging cartridge. This would have been so useful to me back in the day. Um, as you can see, runs on all MSX computers, supports bank switching, display or modify memory in any slot, move memory between slots, call basic or machine code program in 4K ROM cartridge, uses very few few RAM. So a little bit of translation there. The, the box is a little squished, but it's actually in quite good condition, big cartridge too, so it's got some writing on the back there and cautionary stuff um, now there's some there's a little manual in here and um, yep, yeah, that's all looks good Actually, be very, very interested in this, and yeah, it's actually in German, but that won't that won't present too much of a problem. So, um, have a look at that, and we've got an extra little bit of um, a German uh, letter. I'll have to translate that, so I can't. Uh, German is one of the languages I can't read without looking stuff up. So I can read a couple of um, different languages. Can't actually write stuff in those languages, but I can read and understand them. Um, and one more game that came with this. This has actually been a game that I've been after for quite some time on the MSX. Um, it doesn't go for a huge amount of money, but it can be reasonably expensive. Um, this one. I mean, this is the, the main body of the package, the other thing bundled in to make it nice. So, um, I don't think this has got the manual, that's why it's a little cheaper, but it's got the box. So, I'm quite pleased with that, and it's R-Type. Now, I do know, not, not that I've ever actually played it, I've actually, because I've wanted this game, because I really like R-Type, the whole series, and I do know the MSX version isn't the best it could be. There's lots of talk about how it could have been better and everything like that, but as you can see it looks quite good. Um, and you know the box is nice, it looks like the uh, a bit like the Sharp 68000 box and artwork. And it says MSX and MSX2, so but it, it doesn't use any MSX2, so yes, yeah, so no manual, but that's right, it's all nice and clean inside, and the cartridge looks in really good condition. It's a bit dark. You know, it's not going to pick it up that well here. There you go. But a really, really um, 
nice addition to the MSX collection and the MSX Shoot 'em Up collection. And a game that I've looked forward to to play to see what it's like in comparison to the other versions. And I said I've never even played it on an emulator because I, I know with specific games that I will want to get them eventually, and I prefer to play them when I have a physical copy and not take the experience. So something to play with from programming point of view, a mystery game but from Konami, so it'll be very interesting to see what it's like, and a new shoot 'em up added to the collection that's complete enough for my taste. So let's go give those a try. Right, so it. The, this is the Devo cartridge. You can see it comes up with its little splash screen. I actually did try it first with my, um, sorry, my Mega Flash ROM, and actually the splash screen can come up, but I had a ROM set to boot, um, so you, you couldn't transport. The idea is, is you have this cartridge in, and you can, you know, jump to it to have a look at memory. So the easiest way to use it. So there is an English section in the menu, or it's just in the middle. Um, so it called debug, so it's a little small, I've got it in 80 column mode. It switches to 40 column as soon as we go in. Um, so at the moment we're looking right at the start of ROM, plus we can also see the end of RAM there, so MSX machines have the, low, by default, have the lower 32K of ROM um, is the ROM basic, the extensive ROM basic that comes with MSX, and the top 32K um, is RAM. Uh, you can obviously bank switch in ZA, um, and, and with MSX you do it in 16K chunks. So this is really good because it allows you to select other banks and things like that if you've got them available. Um, so we could have a play with that, but um, so, well, well here's an example, set slots. So slots um, Crystal Pin may be used there to change the present slot configuration. Okay, so at the moment it's telling us that the bottom um, two slots are pointing to ROM, slot 0, and the top two are pointing to slot 3, which must be the RAM. Now we could probably change that um, and have a look at what's in slot 2 and very easily like that. So that very easy to use. Um, Press enter to, to set that and it'll go and change. Um, a tool like this would have been so useful to me back in the day, just being able to um, you know have a look at what is in RAM when one of my because originally when I started out programming I started programming my games in uh, in the basic language that was built into the machine and then I started enhancing them with a little bit of bits of machine code. Um, so as I said I can jump to a new address, so let's say if we wanted to go to the start of RAM. There we go, and we can see there's something in there. Um, we can even modify registers, modify memory, uh, block operations, move or clear some memory. Uh, so, and this commands to set the start and end of blocks. So you can move stuff around, which is really good. So you can go and get something. Um, Yeah, well, all sorts of little things to ah, so jump to a memory location. So that's actually jump and execute if you want to try something out. Toggle or register flags display. So, so there's the flags. And there's the registers. As you can see, the Z80 actually has quite a lot of registers, um, and they're all actual 16 uh, 16 bit ones rather than 8 bit ones. But they can be used as 8 bit ones or 16 bit ones. And uh, you can see all the flags there. Um, oh, okay. You can actually highlight a block in memory. So, say you're following a program, um, a bit of assembly that's actually in memory, and it's got to jump to an address. You can actually select that and jump to it. And um, I'll select toggles between hex and ASCII mode. Okay, right. And um, tab switch between ASCII and graphics display. 
Ah, okay. Yeah, because when I, I fired up the other cartridge and when I pressed escape, the game paused. I reckon I needed to press tap and it would have jumped over. So, yeah, I'll have uh, a bigger play of this later. But this is just a quick overview. Um, as I said, this sort of a cartridge would have been extremely useful to me back in the day and I uh, would have loved it. But um, I'll be having a bit more of a play with this and um, maybe putting some uh, other cartridges in there and, and um, loading up some programs in BASIC and just seeing what it does. Alright, let's go play some games. Alright, well here we go with Firebird Hino Tori. And I'm surprised uh, to find out that it's actually a shoot 'em up. Um, I shoot 'em up more in the vein of uh, another really great MSX1 shoot 'em up called um, Night um, uh, Nightmare. Um, and that it's vertical scrolling and everything, but it is actually an MSX2 title. So let's give this a go. Never played it before. Never seen a video of it before. Interesting title screen. So just like Nightmare, we have. Oh, ooh, that's a pair of sandals. Oops! Ah, got me. Okay. So, so this is quite literally my very, very first gameplay. Ah, oh, there's the sandals. Saying, but that's invincible for the while. I think you can only have one thing at once. Okay, so I must quit. Okay, and you can switch over paths. This is giving us advice on the paths, maybe? I don't know. I don't think it's actually. Oh, it actually destroyed all the enemies on the screen. Can't see to destroy those, but you can change. I think my invincibility is running out. Seem to have wrapped around. There might be something. That's the one that gives us some invincibility. Oh, we can actually jump. made it through to another area. It was lucky if we had that vulnerability. Graphics are excellent. The MS62 just had that just has that you know extra bit of capabilities. I take it I have to jump. Oops. Not sure whether that will knock me back to. So this is quite literally this is my very first game. Oops, uh, I did see that, I just didn't dodge fast enough, that might be game over. Um, really, really cool game, um, wasn't expecting that to be as good as that. That's that's an excellent game, I'll be playing that some more, most definitely. So, very welcome addition to the collection. Alright, let's go and have a go at R-Type. Right, and here we go with R-Type, a game that I've wanted to see what the MSX version has been like for ages. Um, Yeah, it's a little jerky, but I didn't expect that with an MS-6 
six one total. Version. Oops, 
wait and see what the big alien at the end is like. It's leading us up a bit, isn't it? Seems to have a lot of these. Oh, God. again. Now, where do we get knocked back to? That seriously put me back to the same spot, doesn't it? Oh, well, I suppose we have to have those weapons. Otherwise, we'll be stuck. Nah. Go to I run out of lives here. We'll just see how the voice of the video will get too long, I'm sorry. No, I got him and he got me. Um it's quite a good version, it plays quite well. Uh, obviously reasonable difficult level, that, that's our type for you and slightly different version so I don't really know the patterns um, and um, yeah excellent lot of pickups and um, yeah hope to get more MSX in the future, MSX collections coming along very nicely. Alright I'm Electric Adventures thank you all for watching and I'll catch you next time.